I've got a feeling that we overestimate the private risks for some of this stuff in terms of uh, overestimating the risks of personal breaches to privacy and how it will affect us, but we tend to underestimate the structural risks of what does it mean when uh, the government has all this data, what does it mean when the government does things in this particular way. Uh, I think it's just uh, kind of a, a very natural thing of we can understand consequences as they relate to us. We can understand what situations in which I would feel, oh, my rights have been breached, but we find it very difficult to understand oh, something is different about a society and something has changed, but I can't quite put my finger on it. And so I think that when, when it comes to talking about our communities, our individuals, uh, at a smaller unit level, are we in a good position to make decisions about how to best use that data? I think those are the kinds of um, distortions that we face. Mm. Um, it seems to me... Sorry, can, can I add a little bit yes, there? Yes, that, that I found it really interesting just going around the room before about uh, how people feel when they are hearing that government is doing big data programs and the, there's, a, there's a sense of unease about it, right? That, that whenever you hear about, hey, uh, this big data program is going to be used to make decisions about my school, there's, there's just a sense of that, that's a bit creepy or that I don't like where this is going. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that sense of underestimating and overestimating certain risks relate to those particular kinds mm -hmm. of decisions. Mm -hmm.